What a pleasure. I'm now joined by former AMS President George Andrews. George, welcome. Lovely to have you here on the show. Now, your address is going to be called Challenges. What are some of those challenges? Uh, my starting point concerns what's called the data deluge and the fact that just by the very name, one recognizes this is something huge. It's going to have a significant impact, not just on mathematics, but on science. I am concerned that perhaps overexcitement about this may cause us to do things and act in ways that might not be in our best interests in the long run. So that's my starting point. Uh, when I finish up, I will be talking about the effect of this deluge on issues involved with education, and in particular about the new standards that have been produced to supposedly increase the competence of students graduating from high school. So George, what are some of the effects then? One of the concomitant unstated aspects of this is that we get to the point where we think that nothing is trustworthy unless it's supported by data. And in many cases, changing our knowledge <clears throat> into a data set heavily reduces the amount of information that we actually have. Sometimes this is necessary, sometimes it's not, and we should be careful in discerning that. So that will be sort of the intermediate stage between this discussion of this scientific paradigm shift, supposedly, and what happens in the world of education, especially K-12 education. And how does that affect young people in education today? So my concern is that if you are going to study data extensively, you will use a lot of technology. And in my view, using technology too, too soon is definitely detrimental. Uh, I have often used the analogy, it's like wine tasting for first graders. One can be uh, a strong advocate of both first graders and wine tasting, but strongly opposed to wine tasting for first graders. And this is something that I don't think is adequately addressed, and I will be talking about it at length. Now, George, listening to you, you seem to be advocating caution. So what do you think the best approach would be? One has to recognize that this idea of using massive amounts of data to learn things about the world is here and with us. If you say, look at the achievements of the biologist uh, Craig Venter, you will see that this sort of approach has had huge successes and one would naturally expect huge successes in other areas as well. My, I am not going to be a promoter of the data deluge, it will promote itself. My concerns are with some of the side effects which may be detrimental. George, thank you very much indeed for joining us today here on JMM TV. Thank you very much.